But once you, once you understand that we do have two bulges, it makes total sense that as the Earth rotates around, then we're going to go through one high tide, then a low tide, then a high tide, then a low tide, and then we're going to go back to our starting position. Now, yes, over a period of days, the moon will move and the positions of these tides will shift, but still, in a given 24-hour period, we're still going to cut through all four of these positions. Now, as the Earth rotates, notice there's 24 hours in a day. That's rounding up. It's really 23 hours and like 56 minutes in a day. But you know that 6 times 4 is 24. There's four positions I've drawn. And so these tides, high to low and low to high, are spaced out every six hours. Because to go from here to here is six hours. And then to go from here to here is six hours. And then to go from here to here is six hours. And then go from here to here is six hours. Now I'm rounding here. It's not exactly six hours. And the reason because is we're assuming the moon to sort of be stationary here, but we know the moon travels through its orbit. So as the Earth rotates one time, the Earth has moved a little and the positions of these bulges have moved a little bit. So it's really like six hours and like 12 minutes or something between the tides. A little bit longer because the position of the bulges have moved a little bit. But if you eliminate that in your mind, you could just say, well, it's about six hours there. So from a high tide to a low tide is about six hours. From a low tide to a high tide and so on is another six hours. So from one high tide to another high tide is 12 hours. So we generally say that the tides are 12 hours apart. That's what we mean, high tide to another high tide. That's another, that's about a 12 hour period. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.